I'm like, I lost, I lost my babe. I'm in this by myself. Guys, we need to brag on Ooh. food for a second. I may or may not have broken down outside of the government building. Please. I feel like a bride. Oh, yeah. Gosh, we have had an eventful morning so far. We had my appointment or our appointment um, yeah. at the US Embassy because we had to get this paperwork signed yeah. for a marriage affidavit. Which, this is the one that proves I've never been married. Is that the one? Yes. Yeah, so it says I've never been married, blah, blah, blah. And it's part of the marriage paperwork that we need to actually get married here and for it to count in the US, which is really important. Yes. But where I, do we begin, babes? I don't even know. It was, first of all, the embassy, of course. We don't have any footage because <laughs> camera there. Like, we had to turn off our phones in front of them, give them our phones. Their security is insane. Yeah. But they were super nice. We got it done in like five no, no, minutes. No, we need to tell them everything, babe, from the beginning. What was the... Okay, okay. We got to tell them the story to... time, baby. Okay. So we get there, okay? And we're scared. I'm nervous that yeah. he's not going to be able to come inside with me. True, okay? true. Because the name is under... The appointment is under my name, blah, blah, blah. I'm a U.S. citizen, whatever. So we get there and... They tell me to go through one door and they tell him to wait and I'm like, oh, this is it. Like, I've lost him. I'm in this by myself. We're lost forever. Exactly. I get in the place and it's like the security room and it's like, he said, top notch. Like, they're like, where's your, you know, do you have any electronic devices? Where's your phone? You need to shut off your phone. We're going to take your phone. Even my headphones. Stick up. We need to take your headphones. My little AirPods. Um, take everything out of your like this is even higher than airport security. Yeah. I couldn't even have the clip in my hair I had to take that off. I had to stink and lift up my pants Like I felt like a little violated sometimes. <laughs> so I'm like by myself with like these like five men, right? <laughs> Going through security Go through security and again, I'm like I lost I lost my babe I'm in this by myself and I had to walk to this whole other building and thank God there was this nice man there And he was super nice. He's like is this your first time here? I'm like, yeah He's like, okay, you're gonna be here at this window. Like, walked me over. Was like, welcome, super nice guy. And I'm standing there waiting in line. There's someone in front of me, and then I hear the door open, and I look, and it's my baby. They let him in. They let me in. Let it was in. a miracle. I was so happy. <laughs> yeah. So just having him here, like there with me, made me feel so much better because, like, when you're stressed, you can't even think straight, mm -hmm. right? But as my babe said, it was like a pretty quick process nothing too crazy got everything done that we needed i had u.s cash still that we used to pay which i was telling my babes like it was totally the lord like i never carry cash on me we literally had 50 dollars just sitting in my purse that we were going to exchange yeah, today yeah. into euros and they're like yep the fee is 50 dollars check on my purse exactly 50 dollars yeah. the lord was like don't worry you're gonna use this money yeah and yeah we just feel relieved that that's over but it's not over over it's not over over now with that paper we need to go to the ministry of foreign affairs in croatia to get it approved stamped something so now we're in the front of the that's not the building but the building is really close in front of the ministry of foreign affairs yeah. and yeah hopefully everything will go well mm -hmm. yeah side note you have to show them babe how pretty this area is this is like one of my favorite buildings here i think it's so pretty and yeah. show them the cute little fountain and these things. It is nice. Flip it for them. Flip it? Yeah, so they can see that. Yeah, this is our... This is our view right now. So pretty. My babe's living the European life, oh, right? yeah. We're gonna even get coffee after. Of course, that's <laughs> what you do. That's what you do. Over and out. Over and out. So babes, where are we? <laughs> So we came to this coffee shop that Mate was just raving about how the guy is just a connoisseur of coffee who owns this place. So we took a little stop because we were walking to the Ministry of Affairs, whatever the stinking building is, and now I'm gonna try this amazing coffee. This is a small, I mean a large by the way, yeah, Americans. By the way, this is this a is large. smaller than a small for us in America, but <laughs> I bet it's a thousand times better. Okay, good taste test. really good really good mm -hmm. like it mm -hmm. okay mm. ready for ministry let's do it guys we need to brag on oh. for a second because we just finished at the ministry of foreign affairs and let me tell you what god did for us it's the small little things yeah so we saw this couple at the u.s embassy earlier today and yeah. we saw them again here at the ministry of foreign affairs we knew they were also getting married too turns out the future wife is croatian and the future husband is american american like me 
So we just had like a nice conversation with them before we got into the building and as we were both waiting for our papers yeah. to be processed. Yeah. And they just told us so many good pieces of information that we were worried about. And sometimes you just need to hear somebody else going through the same situation mm -hmm. as you. We were laughing and swapping stories. And yeah, he told us one good piece of information that we were worried about our apostle seal for my government documents, as you saw in our previous videos. Yeah. He was mm -hmm. saying that even if everything is not 100% complete, we just need the application for my visa to be processed. Yes. Um, so yeah, we yeah. just need to apply for her visa and then she gets like a document right that says oh your visa is in process right. and she can stay still in croatia as her visa is being processed and i can so. still travel even during that time yes like i thought that if it wasn't complete that they were going to kick me out yes. of croatia at the 90 days yeah. that's truly what i thought so this was a huge relief yeah. and then we were just chatting about how hard it is to speak croatian <laughs> and how it's a struggle for him and that, that's gonna be one separate video it has you like, to you be. learning croatian it it's gonna to be, be amazing but yeah we just wanted to brag on god because he's been with us every yeah. step of the way we were able to get Small both things. of these things done today in US the embassy day. and ministry of foreign affairs the stuff is like rolling like what yeah. else do we need to do for this we're almost done right we're almost done like on friday we have our yeah. uh, court appointed translator mm -hmm. He needs to go with us to, I don't know, the, the governmental mm -hmm. buildings to like do our mm -hmm. marriage uh, papers, mm -hmm. which with that marriage papers, we then go to church once we have the church. So we're so close. so close. We're like, finish line Home is stretch. right right in front of us. Okay. I love you. Love you. We are on our way to, what is this, a government building, babes? A government building to get our papers. So for the wedding. We have all, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, this is what happens when I'm trying to do the video. My babes is not doing it. I'm not an expert. I'll fix it later. But yes, we're on our way to a government building. Got to drop off all the paperwork. We're going to tune you guys in afterwards and let you know how it goes. Ciao. Ciao, ciao. Can you tell us what we're doing? So now we're in front of the governmental building that we need to do our papers. We're gonna go to the little kiosk right there. We need to buy like governmental stamps. But basically that's the way how you pay for the governmental service. Interesting, let's do it. Wow, perfect timing, girl. <laughs> so, we did it. We officially are like this close. We just have to pass these papers right into the church. Yes. Right. But we had our appointment and a lot of things happened. Everything was approved, so praise God. We're really happy yeah. about that. We weren't missing any documents. But we had a conversation afterwards because I may or may not have broken down outside of the government building because we hired a translator because you have to hire a translator because I don't speak Croatian to be there with you at this appointment as they're checking everything off. But I was expecting it to be a translation the whole time and I just felt like the majority of the time I had no idea what was going on even if it wasn't a question directed to me I just wanted to yeah. know like the process because we're signing all these documents they're a pretty big deal government building like I just wanted to yeah. have peace of mind yeah. of what was going on and yeah I just was a little frustrated angry yeah. and lonely and we paid for this yeah, it was interesting because we paid for a translator actually a lot of money, like court appointed translator officially. Yeah. And she translated like three sentences. Yeah. Literally, I'm not exaggerating. Yeah. Like, is your name Kayla Pina or where are you born right, right, or right. is your nationality American? Like, that, that's Literally. it was she translated. Yeah. So I cried. I was frustrated. Yeah. Um, but it was good because we, we talked it out and I think I'm learning like I just need to be a little bit more mature in the moment to either identify these emotions as I'm feeling them because I could have said something in the appointment but I didn't really realize the frustration yeah. until like we left because yeah. you're just like in focus mode. Let's um, just get it done. Exactly. Yeah. Or I could have just asked her in the beginning like what does this translation look like? Like when we get in there like what is your role? Da -da 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 -da. We could have yeah. like figured it out. Yeah. But you don't know what you don't know. Hindsight's twenty twenty. But before we wrap this up I just wanted to read to you guys all the things we had to do because we've shown you in previous videos but to put it all together there's like 10 Crazy. different steps that we had to do 
first, I needed my birth certificate with an American apostle, okay? We needed that birth certificate also translated into Croatian. We needed the affidavit from the US Embassy stating that I had never been married, but then we also needed that document stamped or sealed at the Ministry, Ministry of, of Foreign, Foreign Affairs. Affairs. Then, Mate needed a form that proved his birth and also said that he has never been married. We had to come and pay for a translator, as we told you, to be with us during yes. the meeting. We needed the um, ID and passports of the best man and the maid of honor. Yes. We needed my passport, and we also needed to pay money for this. So that's 10 oh, different things. 11, and we needed to translate the birth certificate. Or did you say that I already? That. I'm sorry. Yeah, translate birth certificate. I'm sorry, yeah. 10. So, yeah, it was a lot, but... It's done. And I just love our relationship because we're communicating these things. Like, I'm just grateful that I was able to just, like, cry to him and just tell him mm. how I was feeling. And that he yeah. just, like, you know, was there for me to hear me out and not make me feel crazy, but to make me feel safe and heard and seen. Yeah. And we're growing so much through this experience. It may be stressful, but we're getting stronger in our relationship. Yeah. And I'm grateful for that. That's true. We're going through this together yeah. and we're learning. Yeah. I love you. Love you too, baby. We have something big happening. Babe? Mm -hmm. What are you doing? What, what, what's happening? We have my first makeup trial for day one of the wedding in about 15 minutes, which is crazy. I'm nervous slash I can't believe this is actually happening. Like it's so mm -hmm. surreal. Um, and I hope I picked good looks like I don't even know how this works. I just have absolutely no idea So I'm yeah. excited and nervous at the same time. You're not a big makeup person. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna be interesting. You're yeah. nervous? Yeah, nervous but good nervous. Okay, good good. good. I was more nervous for my nails <laughs> <laughs> That's a story for another day. Babe, it's happening. It's happening. We're getting married. I know. It's Woo! Crazy. This is our this is Hello. our favorite new person yes. Matea <laughs> We love, her already. <laughs> we love her already. Like guys, look at this. This is happening. So, babe. Yes. Are you excited? I'm excited. It's so surreal. Excited, right? Yes. <laughs> so Matea, how what do you say about Kayla? Her skin is gonna go, is it gonna be I'm good? in love ah. because her skin is glowy and healthy and I can wait to put my hands on that face. Yay. Oh perfect! <laughs> I'm trying to find her shade. So you're mixing it? Yes. Color theory. This is the blush mm -hmm. we're gonna use on camera. I love it. It's everything that I wanted. It's natural, but it's like soft glam. I love it. You like it? <laughs> I feel like a bride, yeah. You mm -hmm. look perfect. I love it. You did incredible. Thank you Yay! so much. Thank you. Thank you. Matea, <laughs> you outdid yourself. It looks so Thank good. Thank you guys. Uh, I, I enjoyed it really. Okay, good. <laughs> I really enjoyed it. Thank you. Okay, your first move. Comment. I'm oh, in love. Look, look at this, Matthew. Look how good this looks. I feel like a bride, but I still feel like myself. Yeah. Yeah. Because totally. I, I don't really wear makeup, so I was nervous, but yeah. this is perfect. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> it's four days until the wedding, and it is so hard to expressing to explain the feelings that are happening right now i think the best way like there's a mixture of excitement but there's a mixture of stress too and somehow i i need to force myself to relax so that i can actually enjoy the moment like we're four days away and i still haven't fully processed what's about to happen like i'm about to enter we're about to enter this covenant for a lifetime like what that means kayla's gonna be my wife so and it was actually what the lord was telling me today that 
my focus on the wedding is stealing my joy of kind of a whole life and a big picture if that makes sense so yeah i'm i think we're done today with all the details and stuff we have to do still a couple of small things but i literally I want to relax and I need to start processing what is about to happen so that I can soak it all in because I don't think I am yet fully aware like what's about to happen uh, so yeah help me Lord with that <laughs> oh we're back it's insane because it's been so long since we filmed the last video about all these wedding preps wedding preps about the wedding prep and now it is four or five days until our actual wedding and it has been absolutely insane it's been madness it's been go 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 like we've never been this stressed and consumed in so many different aspects of what's going on and then of course getting used to a new culture and life but I can officially say as of today, we've been doing so much stuff. I think we're going to wrap up all the wedding planning finally. And yeah, now it's just getting super exciting, but still surreal. Like I cannot believe that on Saturday, we're going to be getting married. It's absolutely insane. It'll like hit me every once in a while and I'll get like super emotional. Cause I'm like, oh God, I can't believe that I'm in this season of my life. This is a fulfillment of prayers that I had for years and years and years for my future husband that now like we are so close to stepping into that. It is just mind boggling. So I'm excited. It's still surreal. I have to pinch myself. This is real life right now. And then I'm just excited to have my family here. They're coming this week to just be celebrating with us because they're such a huge part of my life and I've really missed having this season with them i mean we were in pennsylvania and then we were in massachusetts for a little bit and then here in croatia so i feel like i haven't had these exciting moments with them in relation to the wedding so all in all we're excited just cannot believe that this is real life and it's just i'm super grateful and so thankful to the lord because he's so faithful and he's so good and he is a promise keeper and we are just living proof that he keeps his promises and he's just so kind and faithful to us all right that is it for today's video and next hopefully next week we don't know when but the next video is actually going to be a blast from the past when we went to view our wedding venue. Mm -hmm. We can't wait to share that with you guys. It's beautiful. Yes. And the next time we talk to you guys like this in a sit down format, we'll be married. We're going to be married. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. But as we okay. said last week, just keep up with us on Instagram. We don't know when we're going to be releasing videos. We're going to try our hardest, but just keep up yeah. with us there. We're obviously posting on our story so you guys can kind of take a little inside scoop in what our lives look like wedding week and post wedding good no words All right. you're, you're crushing this outro Thanks, baby. Love we love you. you guys bye